Hello and welcome to a little tutorial or uh, yes, a little video showing you how to add a multi-terrain angle to a FS19 mod map. As the title suggests um, and uh, probably the reason why you are here. Uh, if you're new to this channel you probably noticed that uh, English isn't my first language and that all the other videos are in German but I thought that this is a important enough topic so that I have to make a English version of this tutorial as well because I didn't find any um, tutorial or, or tip of how to do that uh, in f 19 so far so I think I'm the first one and um, yes so I'm going to show you in this video and it really isn't that difficult but I have to say one thing um, right uh, at the start I really can't take credit for anything I'm showing in this video because um, right uh, in the official forum, right there in the official forums in the German sections, there's actually the um, original thread from uh, Stegei, uh, which I'm pretty sure there's a version in the English uh, topic uh, section as well, and where he explains how to do it in FS17. And uh, people have uh, been writing in this topic uh, since FS19 came out and have tried different things and reported their. Um, trials more or less and uh, the issues they have had and um, so basically the solution I'm showing to you right now is mostly something that is compiled out of all the things that people have uh, tried here and shown and um, the script or the, the Lua we are using is actually um, the working version is posted by Team LTV King Kalle uh, it's this one and um, yes this is the Lua that we are going to use this actually works I am not sure if uh, he um, wrote this up or if he I don't think because um, other people have found out other things as well so um, for example the addition of lime counter channel or plow counter first channel uh, that that stuff changed I think um, somebody by the name of Elki had has um, shown right here so yes it is a community effort uh, to get the thing working and um, so I can't take credit for that uh, the only issue that isn't resolved in this topic is how to create the um, GDM file, GDM file with a new trans editor because if you know how to do it in the old version you know you had to use GLA converter you had to convert the GDM file to a PNG file and then you had to delete the GDM file then you had to open trans editor and trans editor would create a new GDM file with the additional channels and that is not working with trans editor 8.0 or 8.1 beta so the solution to that and I'm going to spoil the video right now. Um, the solution to that is to um, use a 17 sample map and convert the 17 sample map to multi terrain angle. Use the uh, converted PNG from 19 in that 17 map, let the 17 uh, GE create a GDM and put that back into the 19 map. Um, sounds complicated, it really isn't. But if you don't want to watch through the entire video and you know all the other things and you know exactly how to do a multi terrain angle, you just didn't know how to get the GDM file. Um, there is the solution and, and there's the script. So if you don't need anything else besides uh, the script and uh, the GDM file, the script is in the video description and um, the GDM file, uh, obviously I told you right now how to do it. But um, for all the others that want to see the entire video, I'm going to show you right now. So what we need obviously is uh, our FS19 mod map. What we need also is a FS17 sample mod map. And um, you can just export that from the base game via create new mod from game with uh, translate to the 7.1. So what else do we need? We need a GLA converter or GLA converter uh, version 7.0.1. This is the FS17 one. Um, there is no FS19 GLA converter yet, but it works. So where do you get that? That you can get on gdn.chinesoftware.com uh, downloads and you have to be uh, logged in to get the downloads. So let's start. First thing, go to our FS19 um, map and go to, um, well, what do we do first? We are going to add the script first. I think that's uh, the best way. We're going to add the script first. So we create a new um, text file and we just name that mod map.lua. So now we have our Lua and we open that with notepad++ and we are just going to copy that um, script from uh, team LTV King Kalle. Um, into that um, Lua. So right there, um, that's the script. So num additional channels, here we have to uh, write down the number of additional channels we want to add. In my case, I'm going to add two channels because I think that is enough. I don't think you need an additional three channel. So each channel doubles the um, amount of um, terrain angles you have. So now that we've done that, we need to modify the mod desk and um, that is what we're going to do next. 
So right here where it says class name, you need to write mod map. And basically class name is the class name you define here in the script. So if you want a different class name, you need to rename this in a mod. Um, but if you rename mod map here, you also need to rename mod map here in, in this part, right? Um, so everywhere where it says mod map in the script, you need to rename it. Um, but then you can also use a different class name right here. So, and this is the path to the script. So we want mod map dot Lua. Now this is anything or everything we have to change in the uh, mod desk of the map and we are done with the uh, script and the mod desk part. Now we are going to um, change the uh, i3d file and obviously we need to open it with notepad++ and um, it takes a moment. Uh, I don't know, notepad, the, the current version seems a bit slow. I, I don't think it was always that slow. So first thing is we are going to look for the shader. So we're going to look for ground shader and we'll find the path to the ground shader. And you can see it um, dollar sign data. So it is going to load the uh, ground shader from the data folder. And we don't want that. We need to modify ground shader. So we want it in our map. Uh, so we're just going to remove a dollar sign data. And so it just have the path shaders ground shader. So that is where we put the shader later on. Next thing is we need to look uh, for terrain detail. And this is the line we are looking for, uh, detail layer, name terrain detail, and um, right there, density map channels, num density map channels, we need to um, increase that by the t um, amount of channels we want to add. So we want to add two, so 13 plus two is 15. So we add 15 right there. And um, then we go all the way back there to combined values channels. And um, as you can see, there is this three data sets. Um, there's a semicolon uh, in between them. So one data set, two data set, and the third data set. And we need to change the middle one. And we need to change right there this two. So we need also add um, the amount of channels we want to add. So in my case, two and two plus two makes four. So if we done that, we already uh, are done with modifying the uh, i3d file. So the next thing is to add the shader. So we're just going to create a new folder, shaders. That is uh, what the path has set. So then we're going to data of uh, farming center 19 and um, we're going to shaders. And we're just going to copy our ground shader right here. And we are going to paste that in our shaders folder and then we're going to modify it. So we open it with Notepad++. So there's two things we need to change or well, if you want to be really precise, there's three things. So the first two things is the path right here because the shader is not in data anymore. We need to change this D2, this two, these, sorry, these two dots into um, dollar sign data and um, these two dots as well, dollar sign data. So it can load those two textures, otherwise you'll get a ton of errors. So the next thing is to change the angle and this is obviously the same as it was in FS17. So it's right here, line 210, angle equals seal uh, angle times and well, math. But uh, what we need to change is right here where it says four, we need to um, double that value for each channel we want to add. So we add two channels, that means four times uh, two is eight and another doubling is 16, right? So we write 16 right there. And um, right here where it says three, that is always a number uh, less than uh, the value we have right here. So in case of 16, it's 15. In case you're only adding one channel, it is um, eight right here and seven right there. And in case you're adding three channels, it's 32 right here and 31 right there. So we are already done modifying the shader. And uh, now comes the tricky part or the part where uh, pretty much the video is the solution for. Um, and that is using the um, uh, GDM file. So we are just going to get the GDM converter. We are using cultivator density.gdm, uh, put that, uh, or drag that right over to convert um, command. And um, we are going to let it run. We need to hit a key. And um, then we have the cultivator density uh, dot png file that is a converted uh, um, density and we need to use that now in our 70 map so we are going to uh, copy it or well, um, control and z and then we are going to go to well going to our maps working directory and there's our fs17 sample mode maps so we are going to go into maps and map 01 we are deleting the original cultivator density of our 17 sample map we are pasting that one and um well that 17 sample map right here is just uh, uh, well carrier for our uh, conversion. So it's it's not really, it doesn't matter what map that is, um, but the important part is we also need to convert that to multi-terrain um, angle. So we need to uh, change the 17 shader as well of the 17 sample map. So right there somewhere, where is the angle? Uh, it's here. We also need that to change that to 15 and 16. And then we also need to convert the map itself. 
So we are opening the I2D file. We are looking for terrain detail, which is right there. Nope, right there. So we need to have the number of channels we actually want in the 90 map, right? So we don't add two here like um, we did, but we write 15 here because we have 15. Um, if you remember, we have 15 in our 19 map. And um, this is basically creating, or this this number is basically what uh, later on um, is uh, making Shine's editor to add those channels, right? So if, if we save, um, the PNG file with Shine's editor, it is going to create a GDM file with this amount of channels. So that we write, uh, or it is important that we write the, the right amount of channels right here of the GDM file we are actually wanting. Um, it is possible that changing the shader is optional. I'm not sure, but I think uh, it might be. Um, well, I recommend to change the shader, shader in the 70 map as well. So combined values channels, we also need to change that uh, value to um, 4. And um, again, I'm not sure if that is necessary uh, for the density creation or if that is not necessary for that. But um, I, well, it, I'm just going to do it because well, it's simple. So it is quite possible that you don't have to change the 17 shader and you don't have to change the combined channels value. You just have to change num um, density channels. And it would possibly still create the density map correctly. But I am not sure and that is why I'm going to Yes, I have made a mistake, obviously. What did I do? Um, what did I do? It's not here, obviously. Oh, uh, maybe. No, I have to cultivate the density. What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. Um, yes, we need to open it with uh, old chance editor with 7.1 and not 8.0 or 8.1. Uh, yes, where was I? As I said, um, I think uh, it's it's safer to change the 17 shader as well. Um, if you have a 17 map with multi-terrain angle with the amount of angles you want already, you can just use that and use the terrain detail, um, or rather the uh, density file on that. So, as you can see, we have uh, the terrain detail map of our map and not of the sample map anymore. So, all we need to do now is hit save. And um, if we are going to back, go back into the map, we are going to see that it will create a cultivated density GDM shortly. Right there, it created it. So there is our cultivated density GDM with our 15 channels, the one we need in FS19. And yes, it works, even though it is a 17 GDM, apparently nothing changed. So we can just uh, control Z, copy that, go back into our FS19 map, which we are doing right now. and. Right, not not there. We don't want to paste it there. Um, we want to paste it right here and replace that. And then we also need to delete the original um, PNG file we converted. So pretty much it's done. Um, to recap, we added the mod map lure. We uh, changed the mod desk to um, load the mod map lure and have that class name. We um, added the shader right here. We changed the shader to um, the more to more angle, and we changed all the the path. Um, to the two text files within the shader and we changed the i2d file to the more angles and then we converted the gdm file to png brought it back to a converted or multi-terrain angle fs17 map um, and saved it with that and then brought it back to 19. so with all that done all that is left to do is start fs19 and um, i already did this of course for the other tutorial and when I tried it before so I already have the map in my mode folder which I converted so I'm going to show you right now um, this is the one just real quick so that you can see that it actually works and that we are actually in FS19 with multi-terrain angle and um, yeah so basically the entire secret as I said from the beginning is um, to have the correct script that works and that is totally not um, nothing I did so Right there, you can see um, we have wonderful multi-terrain angle. We can plow in every direction we want, and um, well, I think that two additional channels are plenty enough. I don't think you need any more. Um, some people make three additional channels, but I really, really think that that is um, just wasted performance, right? Because every every additional channel is something you need to um, synchronize via multiplayer and so on. So I, I think that is plenty enough. You will find a line that is well. I mean. That's, that's pretty much the resolution, and right? I, I don't know. Um, well, obviously, it's, it's everybody can make what, or anybody can can do their own map as they um, think fits. But yeah, I think two additional channels is plenty enough. That's it. Um, 
I think that is everything. I think I showed you everything you need to know. So, um, yes, actually, one minute shorter than the German version of this video. So, well, whatever that means. Um, anyways, um, in the German version of the video, I told you that you should check out my other videos and should check out my channel in case you are new here. But obviously, it doesn't make much sense in the English video unless you understand German, in which case you could have watched the German video. Um, because I really don't make any English videos normally. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, this video did help and um, I wish you a wonderful day. And, uh, well, I hope to see you in sometime soon on this channel again. Maybe I'll do another English tutorial. Who knows? Well, in any case, um, goodbye.